Hello everyone. I recently realized that I haven't done an RPG Maker tutorial in a while. So today I'm going to talk about mapping and mapping related events. So when you start off with your new project or game, it's going to start off with these tile sets, which basically are like like if you were looking at a map. So first you want to do is you want to go to map properties by right clicking and uh, clicking map properties and you want to change the tile set to whatever you want like if it's going to be outside or if it's going to be like inside a house we're going to start off with like outside the house and then it's just going to change to this so now you got three different tile sets so first we're going to start off with grass then if you want you can make like put like a lake or something and then you can also have a building with a roof and stuff like that that's pretty simple so basically you just do whatever you want whatever you want your map to look like you could even add like you can even like choose a different roof so it would look like th like this a red roof and you can have like a center in the middle like that and then if you want you can also add a little bit more shadow so it makes it look wider and then you have the door the door is the part where we start getting into the events so first what you want to do is you want to make it just black just black that's it then to make a door it's pretty simple what you do is you have up in the toolbar here click events which will be like the little person icon thing then what you want to do is you want to right click there quick event creation door and you go and have your door but to do this you will already need two different maps so let's start off with a new map now when you start off with a new map it'll tell you you want to name it, you want to choose the tile set for inside a building we're going to choose interior then you want to choose the size we're just going to have, we're just going to leave it at the default you can't make it any smaller than it is already then we're going to put a wooden floor this is all just going to be quick then we're going to put the wall and the wall surrounding it and we're going to get our wooden floor again put the entrance and there's our room and then you can maybe add stuff like a table in the middle with like with like a teddy bear on it something like that so now when you go over here and you right click and you all right events and you right click quick e quick event creation door then you're able to go to inside your house and click where you want the person to be transported to then inside your house you're going to do a right click quick event creation transfer not a door we don't want a door there transfer door would just look weird there and then you can transfer him back outside the house so now let's test it
So, your little character can't walk on water, unfortunately. So, you're gonna go through the door, and you're gonna pop up inside with the teddy bear and stuff. And then, when you go outside the door, you, you're back outside. That's basically it. One other thing is, you can create a map that's already been preset. You just do load sample maps and you can look through here and be like you can have this town or have an inside you have a maze, you have a village house, like the inside of a house already pre-made for you. So you can load this and you can load other stuff too. Say like a mountain village. Stuff like that. So it would be less work for you. That's pretty much it for mapping. Basically it's create whatever your heart desires. And then <clears throat> the two events that I showed you. So see you guys next time when I teach you guys more on events.